Hello, I'm Patricia, located in Chicago. Welcome to my channel. My channel is about ascension, specifically twin flame ascension, how to be preventative, get well, heal, and feel the 5D love you're supposed to. So let's just get into it now. In this video, I want to talk to you about emotions, okay? And this is something that some people avoid and, you know, we need to have a little chat about it. What can you feel on this journey? Well, I'm going to tell you this. You can feel some really deep and extreme emotion that may seem very, very out of sorts, strange to you, even out of character. Why? Because you have to. Because it's a part of you. Because it's you. Because it is a deep part of you. And getting to that depth is an actually very important thing. Does it mean that you're always vulnerable, raw, have your heart on your sleeve, you feel like a bleeding heart or everyone's going to take advantage or worse, that people are going to backstab you? No. That is the beauty part of your twin flame body that I help you to integrate and the modality that I work with that I've created because you're able to move some stuff through the movements that I walk you through to open the parts of you that do not leave you feeling vulnerable and let yet leave you perceptive and feeling. Feeling what you want to feel, not feeling so much of what you don't want to feel. Without feeling like you're ignoring it or shoving it yet into your gut again. Or shoving it into some other part or worse doing the F and F, the fighting and the fornicating with people because you just got to get that tension out. A lot of people do that and they don't even know they're doing it. They just need a place to stick it. Don't be that person where they want to stick it to. Okay? So to get real about this, what are some of the specific things that you can feel here? Well, I'm going to talk about some of this really like low vibe emotional spectrum here. First of all, Imposter syndrome. You might feel that you're not here to do this. Who picked you anyway? Why you? Are you really up for this? This isn't for the faint of heart. Maybe you're not. Maybe you just can't do it. And yeah, maybe a lot of other things like you're an idiot, you're an imbecile, you're, you know, inadequate. There's a lot of things that get tagged into that imposter syndrome. Are you up to the task? Are people going to call you on the carpet about it? The divine doesn't think you are an imposter. You are a magnificent being who's like coming out of the rubble. It's like those things where an earthquake happens and yet you're under there breathing and alive and well. And you just need somebody to just take some of this heavy rubble off, right? I'm that person. I help move the big heavy block so that you can truly be who you are, so that you can feel your own spirit thriving, and not only that, getting up, and when I say getting up and running, bringing you to a level of function and well-being that you may not have felt, honestly, in a lifetime. Even if you were to go back to your childhood and find that simple joy of jumping rope or riding your bike or the sense of accomplishment when you got on your skateboard, right? Some of us are like that. Some people were never like that. They couldn't do it. They could read a book. They could write something. They could write their pen pal. They were a little bit quieter. They weren't daredevils. It's okay. It doesn't matter what kind of a kid you are. What matters is the being who you really truly are. How you're connected, who you're connected. And I'm here to help you get reconnected to that part of yourself. So imposter syndrome, how can we cross that off of your emotional bucket list? You don't need that, but it might come up and other things may come up. Next thing, doom and gloom. Now this happens a lot to men. They will feel at various times, and this happens various times throughout the year, and it's not after their team lost, believe it or not but they can feel a sense of impending doom, like something is going to happen. It sometimes tags into an existential crisis. Why am I here? What am I doing here? What is my purpose? Do I really exist? Have I existed before this? 
Do I have a purpose in even existing? Does anyone care? Does anyone care about me? And sometimes those people can have the most loving people around them. It doesn't matter. It's a feeling. That's what I'm saying about your emotional side is sometimes feelings happen despite everyone else's best of intentions. Doom and gloom. Gloom is a mood. Are you gloomy? Is there always a heavy cloud over you? Are you waiting for the shoe to drop? Are you always thinking that somehow something will never happen for you? You're never going to meet who you need to meet. You're never going to have that door open. I'm going to say this to you. Pay attention, please. When you work with my twin flame modality, you open up your spirit subtle body. There is a part of you that is actually an exchange of your ego, which retracts into you. It should retract. That is one of the very first things of part of the stages. So stages are not when, you know, you try to talk to someone and they ditch you or ghost you. No, because that happens a lot with soulmates. It happens with bosses. It happens with colleagues. It happens with other people. No. One of the stages that is very, very important is the stage of the ego subtle body. That part of you has been in place to protect you as an individual, to help you know yourself as an individual, to help you know yourself as a reflection in the world, in a physical plane. Without that, you just feel like part of a communal energy. How do you retain it? Well, part of it is to recapture some of your spirit. And the other piece of it is let me help you reconnect and integrate that part of you. I have a specific session for that. And it really only takes a few times for you to really feel it, really get it going, maintain it, and really up level. What are some of the other things that you can feel on your journey? Oh, well, let's just talk about that pink bubble phase. Everyone has it when they start a spiritual journey. You have light bulb moments. You have aha moments. You have, you know, awakenings, different kinds of awakenings, body awakenings, mental awakenings. They're all kind of lumped together with spiritual awakening. You find a phrase that you have, a mantra that you're using, and then sometimes it just somehow doesn't, it's not cutting it for you. It's not working anymore. What do you do about that? You do my work, which continually enables your spirit to help you thrive, to get inspired, to be creative without feeling that anything is being detracted from you, to really feel like the being that you are. So what happens with this, you know, pink bubble phase? You know, you were in the love bubble and now that bubble popped. Is it never to be recaptured again? No, there is something bigger I call it the love bubble. People call it the bubble phase, pink bubble phase. That's like a first little, you know, pop. that's like a little soap bubble. That's like a bubble at the end of an old pipe that just like pops. It's full of rainbows for a moment. And then there it goes into the atmosphere. Where'd that go? Right? You feel elation and then you crash. And you don't want to leave yourself in that crash state. You don't want to leave yourself in a sugar crash or a caffeine crash any more than you would in elation to crashing. How do you stay even and how do you bring yourself to a balance point, a zero point where you're not at this extreme, you're not at that extreme, let's bring it to the center. How do you do that? It is through the learning and the maintenance of your twin flame body. Okay. Here's a comparison I use. Let's say you as a couple, you decide to go mountain climbing, right? And you're both pretty good at it because you've got a little experience under your belt. And there you are, roped together. You've got this thin rope around your waist, keeping you to each other, and one of you slips. What happens? The other one grabs the rope, and there you are, and you're going, hang on, hang on, I got you, I got you, but find your footing, I can't hold you forever. That's what this journey is like. You're not going to hold your other half forever. You can't. You're not supposed to. They have to find their footing. How they find it is through you. Do either one of you stay in a crash down position? Hell no. No. 
not if I can help it and not through what I teach. You're going to find the ways to help each other without it even seeming like you're helping each other just by learning and putting one foot forward through the steps that I teach you. Physical sensations about your emotions. Now that's a wild one because emotions can cause sensation. Things can happen to you that cause your body to feel things. Okay, think about it this way. Did you ever go to the Department of Motor Vehicles? Okay, and no matter how well organized or how well lit it is and lovely signs or they, pre like what happened with my local one, they redecorated it. They got new signage. It was an improvement. I won't say it was not an improvement. But the bottom line is it was still the Department of Motor Vehicles. And God bless the people that work there and show up every day to help people get their stuff that they need because they do a lot of licensing and permitting and um, other types of services like IDs, okay? They got to be there. They got to be there and they are there. So thank you. Thank you for your service. But to get back to you're there, how does it feel? You walk in and most people are like, oh, I'm at the Department of Motor Vehicles. There's like a vibe in the room, right? You're picking it up from everyone, okay? Occasionally on the outside, you have those people that found out they passed their driving test. That's where the elated people are. It's not in the beginning. It's not where you walk in and you're like, I need to renew my state ID. Okay, go into line one, go pay the cashier. It's not there. It's after you've gone through that weird vibe of a feeling. Okay, what tells us what that vibe feels like? What is the atmosphere like? What is the general feel of the room? Your emotional body. Unless you expand that through your high heart, you cannot get to some levels that you need to get to. My twin flame body modality helps you with this. So please, please do yourself a favor. Learn and feel and join. You can join my class. Open your chakras. And you can actually have, uh, there are links below in the description where you can have a one-on-one -on -one session. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.